Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's been long time that I couldn't make videos related to HSTR exams and TET exams. Here again, I'm back with few important content from mathematics which will be useful for TET exams, GPSTR and HSTR exams. So, um, directly moving to the concept now. I think you must be preparing for TET most of you. Most of you would have covered the syllabus and doing the revisions. So from my side I would like to tell you that the concepts even though you might have studied earlier the last minute revision is very very important. Okay. So as much as possible the last two days before the exams keep for revision. Revise the concepts which is, which is already known which you have learnt thoroughly and then go for the exams sure and certainly you will score high marks okay so um, coming to the mathematics part of it already i have covered uh, 50 percent of the concepts for gps exams only considering that it will be useful for tet and gps exams also arithmetic progression is completed you can check in the channel playlist you will get the video and even number system is completed statistics probability trigonometry i have taken up and um, quadratic equations, polynomials, mensurations. So all these concepts are explained. Okay, you can go to channel playlist or I'll give the link in the description box. You can go to that videos and watch this videos. And now in this video, we shall learn about pair of linear equations in two variables. Very easy and important concept. Okay, before moving to the video, if you are new to my channel, watching my channel for the first time, kindly do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get all the videos I upload here which will be useful for your TET, GPSTR exams, until TET exams and also for KV exams and HSTR exams also. I am starting the videos already. I have completed few concepts. You can check out in the channel playlist. Okay. Moving to the concept now. Pair of linear equations in two variables. What are linear equations with one variable? Let us check it now. This concept you must be knowing already. Just a revision type, okay? I'm moving little fast, not so slow. I'm just helping you out to revise, okay? This is a kind of revision. So an algebraic equation of the type ax plus b is equal to zero, where a is not equal to zero. The coefficient of x must not be equal to zero. It must be of any number and you must have another variable x is a variable it could be of y also no problem and a constant number okay so this type of equations are called as linear equations with one variable it means you can find the value of x or y whatever the given variable for example 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 if you want to know the value of x value shift this 5 to the other side becomes minus x minus 5 and 2x is equal to minus 5 and x is equal to minus 5 by 2 most of the cases in case of TET, if you are a physics and mathematics uh, candidate uh, for BA, it will be very easy uh, to do the calculations. You will be in touch with this. Okay. If you are a CBZ student, you must know these small little tricks to remember all this. And it is easy only you can prepare. Moving to pair of linear equations in two variables. Here the examples are. 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. So here you can find two variables. This is an equation. And next one, x minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. So this also has two variables. x and y are the variable. And the next one you can observe x minus 0y is equal to 2. Okay. Here y is mentioned as 0y. Okay. If they mention they have two variables. So you can take any two equations from here. And they form a pair, right? This are the pair of linear equations in two variables. Okay. And this can be in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Where a, b and c are real numbers. It could be of any number, numerical. Okay. But not both a and b are 0. Okay. And where x and y are variables. It could be xy, lm, mn, pq, any variable it could be. So solution for su such equations, for pair of equations are to know or to find the value of 
x and y the given variable if you know one value if you are able to find any one value either x or y you can substitute in any one of the equation and hence you will get the other equations there are many methods to find out this right so mainly remember this linear equation which is in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so that forms a linear equation with two variables okay so this linear equation is uh, in case of x and y solution it can be of correspondent for the point of line representing the equation vice versa also okay so like this 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 this may represent a line like this a straight line you will get and another this equation if you solve this may represent a straight line okay when you plot it on the graph hence these two linear equations are the same two variables x and y equations like these are called as pair of linear equations in two variables in case of these two lines in a plane only one of them following three possibilities can happen you can choose any two lines pair of linear equations on the graph you will get any among this any one of the result either the two lines will intersect at one point they will intersect at one point like this or you can see that they are parallel to each other they will not intersect or third case the two lines will coincide they will be coincident they will coincide like this so among this any one can happen here one more important point while plotting the graph the graphical method solution of a pair of linear equations are there are three types you can find consistent pair of linear equations you will get or dependent then third one is inconsistent pair of linear equations okay in case of consistent pair a pair of linear equation in two variables which has a solution you will get a solution for that equation is called as consistent okay the name itself says in case of dependent pair a pair of linear equations which are equivalent has infinitely many distinct common solutions okay different different solutions it will have so such pair of linear equations will be dependent third case inconsistent it means they will have no solution at all they are inconsistent if they have a solution consistent if they don't have a solution inconsistent if they have many solutions distinct or common solution they are dependent okay for example you have like this pair of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 okay so this is very important point sometime it will be asked for TET exam and sometime for GPC and HSTR also could be asked suppose on comparing the ratios if you take this values of a1 a2 b1 b2 and you write like this if it is a1 by a2 which is not equal to b1 by b2 on finding the result then if these are not equal then the lines are intersecting each other on the graph you can understand that they are intersecting each other so you can look at the symbol and remember like this they are not equal so they are intersecting okay they intersect crisscross each other and they have a unique solution remember they are consistent and they have unique solution if a1 by a2 which is equal to b1 by b2 which is equal to c1 by c2 then they are coincident line they are they are all same no like this coincident line they all are equal you see this is equal to the next one second one second one is equal to third one you can remember in this way and they have infinite solution remember like this chain wise they go okay they are dependent one dependent on the other like this so some tricks we have to use to remember this formula and all then we will not forget in case of third one a1 by a2 this should be a2 which is equal to b1 by b2 which is not equal to c1 by c2 on comparing with the third one which is not equal then you can say only these two are parallel right they, they are equal so they are parallel lines they have no solution they are inconsistent okay so first this one you remember they are parallel lines and they have no solution remember this point is very very important in case of finding the solution in case of pair of linear equations the algebraic methods are there are three methods they are substitution method elimination method and cross multiplication method these are the three main methods to find 
only in case of gpstr since we have descriptive type so far they may ask you to mention they will mention the method and to find the solution last time in gpstr exam cross multiplication method was asked okay but in case of tet and all you can use any method just to find the solution of this just to remember this next when we prepare for gpstr exam i will explain all these three methods in detail we can expect these kind of questions in tet exam a fraction becomes 1 by 3 when 1 is subtracted from the numerator and it becomes 1 by 4 when 8 is added to its denominator find the fraction so let us take the fraction as x and y and when 1 is subtracted from the numerator which is the numerator x is the numerator when 1 is subtracted it means x minus 1 divided by y it becomes equal to 1 by 3 when 1 is subtracted from the numerator it becomes 1 by 3 and hence you can rearrange this and you can get 3 into x is 3x multiplying with this minus 3 again which is equal to y into 1 y 1y and taking this y to the left hand side becomes minus y and taking this 3 to the other side becomes plus 3 so you got equation 1 and second it give it has given and the same equation becomes 1 by 4 when 8 is added to the denominator okay so for the denominator you must add 8 it becomes 1 by 4 same way you can cross multiply and get the second equation and you can use any method uh, to cancel this okay you know this method very well means you can make any one of the factor to be equal to 0 it means first equation is you got 3x minus y is equal to 3 this one and second equation is 4x minus y is equal to 8 so you can multiply this equation 1 this is mentioned here equation 1 by 4 and equation 2 by 3 and hence you, you will cancel this x value you know how to do it and to find the value of y you can substitute but here it is done in the other way means just by subtracting equation 1 from 2 they have done you can do it in any method and to find the value of x they have got the value of x here substituting this x value in any one of the above equations you will get the value of y just to find the value of x and y and hence what is a given fraction x by y just write the value of x by y that is 5 by 12 okay like this you can do if the question is like this for which value of p does the pair of equations given below has unique solution so two equations are given and we need to find the value of p and they have given the condition that this pair of equations given below has a unique solution so we have already learned that when they have unique solution they will intersect each other it means this value a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 hence we have to find the value of a1 a1 a2 b1 b2 so here a1 is 4 a2 is 2 this is your b1 that is p value and b2 is 2 and c value c1 is 8 and c2 is 2 that's it just substitute for this a1 value is 4 and a2 is 2 b1 is y sorry not y p and uh, b2 value is 2 after substituting what are the value of p you get here 2 ones are 2 two twos are 4 cross multiply 2 two twos are 4 you get where p is not equal to 4 you got like this p is not equal to therefore for all value of p except 4 the given pair of equation will have unique solution so in case of tet they may give for the value of p so the value of p will be given here the answer is uh, except 4 right they will give 3 5 6 like this or 4 they may give you have you can choose the answers accordingly and if it is of this kind of questions the difference between two number is 26 and one number is 3 times the other find them find the number the numbers are like this so let the numbers be x and y the first number b x and the second number b y and here they have given the difference between the two number is 26 difference between them suppose you can take y is greater than x this we have to consider then y minus x is equal to 26 and one number is 3 times the other so this one number if you take y which is equal to 3 times the other okay so these are the conditions we made and we got two equations and you can solve by substituting this y value substituting y value in equation 1 you will easily find the value values are x and y are 
okay like this first you have to try to understand the question and try to solve this okay you can use any method to solve okay in the following videos we shall continue with the different sums related to this pair of, pair of linear equations if you would like to get more sums kindly comment in the comment box and also i'll be continuing hstr concepts physics concepts also in the next upcoming videos thank you thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a like okay so that will encourage us to more to continue more videos